Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in how to write an analytical essay series. So today we're going to be talking all about planning, which is a really, really important stage that you must, must, must not skip. So the objectives today, number one, to learn that planning is important. Number two, how to interpret an essay question that you're given. And number three, how to brainstorm effectively. So let's get started. Um, why do we do this? Well, failing to plan is planning to fail. I'm sure you've heard this before and there's a reason you've heard it before. It's very true. Um, winging it leads to a very disorganized, messy and poorly written essay. So please make sure that you spend a lot of time planning your essay before you start writing it. Okay, so step one of planning is to read the question. Reread it, reread it again and really make sure that you understand what it's about and really think about what is it actually asking. Sometimes we get really passionate about a text and we want to talk about a certain aspect and you could produce an awesome essay but you haven't actually addressed what the question is asking you. So really important that you read the question. Number two, identify key words. So these are also called content words and they're words that tell you what to discuss in your essay. So I want you to start by writing your question in the middle of an A4 piece of paper. Just write it lengthways across the middle so that it looks like this. Okay, so this is an example essay question from a Year 8 curriculum and it's based on a movie called Howl's Moving Castle. Brilliant, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. So, the first keyword I'm going to point out here is filming techniques. So, this tells you that you need to focus on filming techniques in your essay. So, make sure you have a really, really good understanding of those. Things like camera angles, lighting, setting. Um, costuming, there's a whole range of different ones, see your English teacher for those. Okay, and the second one is characters. So we know that you're going to need to have a good understanding of characters. Also note that it's plural, so make sure you don't just talk about one character. Alright, the next thing, change. This is our central idea for this essay. So make sure you really, really understand what change um, is about and in relation to your text. So make sure you really understand that one. And here, just a bit of clarification, we're talking about the way hearts change. So this might indicate emotion or identity within characters. Okay, so this is my example. I've got it there again for you. I've also got a note here on your page, highlight these keywords, then create a list of synonyms for these keywords because you'll find that in your essay they keep coming up again and it might get a bit repetitive. For example, if you put change in every sentence in every paragraph, your English teacher is going to ask you to go back and write something different. So it helps if you have a whole list of different words for each of those keywords. Okay, step three, identify direction words. So we've just talked about keywords. These are direction words, and they're words that are going to tell you what sort of answer you need to give. So these are things like discuss, to what extent, show how, how, do you agree, and the last two, compare and contrast. They are for comparative essays, which I'll talk about in a different series um, and go into more detail then. Okay, step four, brainstorm. This is the fun part. So look at those content words and go absolutely crazy. Write everything you know about the text in relation to those words. Pull it apart, go off on tangents, fill that page. Do not move on to the next stage until you have got a full crazy looking page. Okay, then once you have done that, Sorry, before you do that, I've got a few different methods that you can use for brainstorming. So, I myself love the good old mind map, but you can do a lotus diagram, which is a little bit more structured. Uh, Padlet and Poplet are excellent iPad apps that you can use to brainstorm ideas. You can do a good old trusty dot point list if that's what you like. You can have a chat to a friend and write down some notes as you're talking to them about what you think the essay is about and those central ideas. Um, and you can also do a verso, which is... Um, kind of like a big chat room that you can take part in. So, step five, organize those crazy ideas into some kind of order. So, what ideas are dominating your page? Make sure you go back to your question, 
Make sure those ideas relate to the question. Okay. Um, then once you've done that, think about how you might organise these into paragraphs. So that brings us to the end of this video on planning. The next video is going to be bringing that giant massive planning, pulling it in and structuring your ideas for your essay. So I'll let you go off now and create your plan and I'll see you all next time. Bye.